We interrupt this pro this internet for a breaking news topic. Recently, Ro uh, a convicted felon, Roger M. Van Artsdalen, was recently was recently captured after he was caught molesting a woman, not once but twice in one night, uh, on top of a bale of horse feed. Police are convinced that this is the first ever instance of a hey diddle diddle. That was god awful. You're welcome. Intro time. It's the Groovecast Podcast, a show about stuff like stupid jokes and Charlie folks and random ass topics with Casey Wes and special guests like Fred and Danny Kyle Riley Lennon's there too. This is their theme song, it's pretty cool. Don't ask Wes to sing the rest, cause he'll forget the words to sit right down and gather round, but not too close, because they were so ugly that everyone died. <clears throat> Podcast. From doing things anymore. Hey, I thought of that today, and I'm proud of it. That was dumb. It was great. It was dumb. No, it was great. You stumbled through it like Steve. It's because I didn't have it written down. I thought it for, of it from my head. Nick knack patty whack the case of monsters killing a cow in a rice field. Yeah. I thought it was a hitman. Either way, it doesn't matter. With, that was a long I watched time that ago. the other day, it was fucking hilarious. With two small figurines. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, back me up, that was funny. I love that one, I'm sorry. I love that so much. Colin came up with that on whose line? I'm just like, Colin, you stupid great. If you weren't, if guy. you weren't in your fifties, I'd marry you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Although, isn't he older than fifty now? He's in his fifties, I think. I believe so. There, are, there are those people who just get white hair really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he also like loses his like Charles Martinet. My brother one time was, was the guy who voices is. Mario. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mario. and uh, one of the. Like the one of the the main dragon guy in Skyrim. It's weird. I forget his I name. I never beat that game. I start, I, start, I started walking up the steps to meet the the, the, the mountain people. What are they called? The Greybeards? Yeah. And I got up like two flights and a wolf killed me. And I'm like, fuck this game. Threw the <laughs> controller across the floor and put him in some Resident Evil. Oh, hey, Dan's here. Yeah. As always, I am Big West along with Casey. I don't count anymore, I guess. Why don't you count anymore? College! <laughs> well, yeah, that. And you said you banned me, so I'm going to be banned. Oh. Uh, We're banning self-pity. Break out your trombone. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy. That's that's Stacy's cry. <laughs> it's there's there's like a there's like a week delay between you two. Like like three weeks ago, you started with "Hey girl," and then last week she's "Hey girl." Last week you were drowning. Now she's drowning. This week, I thought she was I... doing a mating call. But either way, Dan's here. Man, that's my mating call. <laughs> it sounded like a higher pitched voice version. Can't talk Man <laughs> of Ender Dragon. I'm looking for a redhead. <laughs> Man. Man. Is that what that means? Man means I'm looking for a redhead. That's a lot and just a little... Meh! That. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was the guy who voices Mario looks really, really old, but he's yeah. only like 52. Huh. Yeah. Huh. I'm, huh. Gonna, I'm gonna fact check myself. I'm pretty sure he's in his 50s. Fact check? Fact check. I... Yep, I'm fat. I have a little bit. I have a little bit. I, I got I got a bit squish. <laughs> Stacy had... Stacy had some smush. In her face. Smush. smush. Speaking of smush. Yeah? Earlier this week, I was on a lift. Oh, and, yeah, tell the story. And I I ran over a large pile of of goopy, caulk covered uh, pieces of tape. And I made a big mess. And I, I didn't realize that I was so close to said pile of tape. And I backed over it with the lift, and it made a large mush sound. <laughs> it made the sound mush. Yes. It didn't go... It went mush. There's something out your window. I think it was Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm not with that shit, man. It's just... Oh, it's Mothman! Uh, no, it's birds. I'm sorry. This picture of him looks like someone's grandmother. Look at this. Mothman? Oh, wow. <laughs> he looks like someone's grandmother. Oh, he looks like Don Vito. I want to call him either. From okay. Viva La Bam. Okay. It's Bam Margera's uncle. Okay. You don't watch the MTV. I don't watch the MTV, no. You... I don't follow... Is that the one where all the black the shows are on it? I think that's BET. Oh. Is that no, the same thing? No, that's TV One. <laughs> ah, thanks. That's what it is. Oh, well, whatever. He's 58. B, 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 sure. Well, is that a goat? What the fuck is that? Oh, no, it's just a picnic table with a bird on it. <laughs> <laughs> Quit freaking me out, man. There's also a fake deer over there. I'm about to run out there. If I and an owl. Phone. Gonna get on the news. And an the owl? There's an owl there? A fake owl. Oh. Uh, man, I was gonna, like, tackle it for some reason. <laughs> Yeah. Tackling now. Tackle. <coughs> Cook it up. Have some good eats. Yeah. So Stacy has stuff going on at some time, don't you? Yeah, I'm getting my going for my test on driving test on Monday. Yeah. 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 You keep saying you're not ready, but you are ready. I don't feel it's not that hard. I believe in you. Everybody else believes in you. I believe I can teleport. <laughs> I believe I can drive. <laughs> I believe I can touch the steering wheel. I believe I can Think touch the steering wheel. Goodbye, every and day. Yeah. Put it in park and drive away. <laughs> <laughs> there you I don't go. Think that's how that doesn't works. make sense, though. <laughs> I would say put it in drive and drive away, but you're using the word drive way too many times. Yeah. It's just sounds more stupid. Put it in I gear say. and drive away. Ah, right, there we go. Put it right. in gear and drive away. Casey. Hello? Put it in your pooper and then drive away. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, hey. Yo. In, in recent automobile news. Yes. Uh, Saab has been bought out several times by various companies and just got bounced around. Yes. But they were recently... Uh, they recently bought themselves. Okay. And they're they're back in, in, in Sweden... All right. ...making cars again. Okay. And I don't remember exactly what the company is. It's a weird name. But they make electric cars, and mm -hmm. it's like a joint thing. It's a joint? It's a joint thing. I'm going to find the actual article that I found. But basically, Sobs are making cars again. Cool. And they're, I guess. by 2016, they're all going to be electric. Nice. Let's see. Did I, did I already um, go over what I found out about the Nissan Leaf? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. The, uh... Is it a car that runs on leaves? No, it's an electric car. For, the, for, for those of you that are listening that haven't heard a couple episodes ago, and Danny. Um, what I found out about the Nissan Leaf is um, two things. First of all, the batteries, um, if you were, like, like your cell phone, when your cell phone is, like, so much, like, if your cell phone is, like, 30, supercharged, if it's, like, 37% and you just plug it in to, like, charge it, um, you can't, it's not recommended that you do that with the Nissan Leaf. It, it's recommended that you, you kill the battery and then charge it from, from dead to full. Because if you were to, like, just quit charge it every so often, like you do a cell phone, it'll kill the battery quicker. And, I forget, what, what did I say the, the maximum life of a battery was? It was like 15 to 20 years, something like that. But if the you were life to... life of the battery, like, for it to be able to be charged... Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, but if you were to, like, sporadically charge it all the time, you reduce the life to five to ten years. Yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. now, what are we talking about? Are we talking about a big old car battery? Or are we I, talking about 12 double D? I, like, I, 12 I, D batteries? Or I, I think it's something like a car battery, but yeah. it's, like, fancier. Electric cars, car, cars? Electric cars are, are strange yeah. in a lot of ways because, for example... Mm -hmm. uh, you know how when you, you press down the gas when you have uh, a regular gas car, mm -hmm. it, it slowly picks up? Mm -hmm. 
But with an electric car, it's basically just like a little electric motor or something. Yeah. It just goes. And they, they only have one gear. Yeah, they only have... They don't... There's Yeah, there's really no need for gears. Yeah. Also, there isn't that, like, drift you get mm -hmm. when you're off the gas, but the car is on, so it drifts forward. There isn't that either. Mm -hmm. But I've heard that that some electric cars actually have, like, a setting where they'll do that by itself. Like, it's like a like a mode where it drifts forward a little bit. Really? Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a Tesla car. Some sort of Tesla car. That sounds something like some Tesla That do. sounds science fiction. Yeah. yeah. Now, speaking, also, oh, I was, go I was ahead. Say, speaking of this, I found the article. I think it needs to be in the background of the Frankenstein movie. Okay. National Electric Vehicle Sweden, the Chinese Swedish company behind the relaunch of Saab. Chinese First of all, Chinese Swedish. Swedish. That's kind of weird. Has started production on its first electric Saab models. The electrically powered 93 sedans are built in Sweden, but the first cars will be actually be sold in China. According to blah 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 blah, following early trials, the company will then move into larger scale production in the fall before Swedish sales begin in 2015. There is no word on further show sales further afield as yet. So yeah. Hmm. So it also says that it was first bought out by General Motors in 2004, I think, something like that, and then it was bought by Spiker in 2010, and then it went bankrupt, and hmm. it was bought by Nevs, which is Natural National Electric Vehicles Sweden. Okay. So basically, like I was saying earlier, the company has just been all over the place. Also, speaking of saws, because I like saws and I'm going to talk about them, they... I have no problem with that. Yeah. Uh, the, link, the place Lincoln Way that I go to to get my car fixed, they have a 9.3 Arrow. It looks amazing. Arrows, if you didn't know, are like the, the supercharged versions of regular car, the regular mm. saw cars. They go really fast. Uh, my stepdad was telling me that one of them has a max speed of 190. Nice. And it's street legal. So, nice. Yeah. I, I've been looking into getting another truck. Yeah. What are you planning on getting? Get a um, Saab. <laughs> a Saab truck. <laughs> they have a Saab SUV. That's... No. No. Um, Let's see. I, it looks really weird. <coughs> um, I've, been, I've been thinking anywhere between an, a 98... Probably, probably an 03 F-150. Yeah. Because I, I, I like that generation of, of truck. They, they're not, like, real big. They don't look real weird. You like, want to buy an 88 Suburban? The one you crashed? No. No, that was the Impala. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or how about a uh, you should 1500? You should know, probably or an tell 89, that story. Or uh, an Ram Charger. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> I, I, no, I crashed the Impala. Now, I was making a left turn and, from, uh, I was, from what I heard someone crashed into you yeah I was making a left turn and uh, the Ford dealership that's on 94 outside of Hanover like you're heading towards yeah. Cross Keys yeah I was uh, right there and I was turning left in one of the driveways mm -hmm. so I could turn around and get the sheets and I made a left turn and this dude came over that hill mm -hmm. going into Hanover he was going like 100 and something wow and he, he, he hit the uh, the right rear like that little section that's right after the rear, you know, tire, you know, little trunk area. Mm -hmm. Hit that, and I spun around a bunch of times oh, and shit. ended up at someone's front yard. Nice. I was literally, like, a couple feet away from the front door, but, um, totally my impala. Shit. So, here's what a, the Saab, uh, SUV looks like. It basically, huh. it looks like a cross between, like, a station wagon. And there's 22s on it? Man. And, like, uh, like a Ford Escape. Yeah, it looks like a, a, a like the yeah, the wagon version of a, a Ford Escape. Nice. I'll tell you what I did with the Impala. Yeah. I, uh, it was I totaled it. Like I told the insurance company, you know, I'm just going to total it instead of trying to get it repaired. Like yeah. they were going to pay for everything, so they said they were going to write me up, you know, send a adjust, adjuster, look at the damages and everything that's on it and everything, and tell me how much they're going to give me for it. And I sold it to a junkyard for seven hundred dollars. Nice, because yeah, everything's still fine. It's just the rear axle, mm -hmm. you know. Thing. So they gave me seven hundred for that. The adjuster came out and looked at everything I put on it and everything. Ran this. Mm -hmm. All 
by itself. The interceptor engine was under the hood, and they gave me a 5700 for it. Even after you sold it to the junkyard? Yeah, and I bought the car for 3000 originally. Wow. Very nice. And I went out and bought a 2005 Dodge Magnum. Nice. I like how my dog sneaks it's got a and then just it. It's a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, the wagony thing, right? The thing is so fast. Nice. I was looking at one truck. I think Bob Ruth Ford has it. I can't. Yeah, oh, yeah, Bob the Ruford. one with the annoying radio commercials. Yeah, I yeah. was about that. <laughs> they have a 2011 F-150. It's a uh, twin-turbo six-cylinder. And I'm just like, twin-turbo six-cylinder truck. That is amazing. And I was like looking at pictures and everything about it. Um, Apparently this is car talk. It's yeah. It's got... It, I didn't know that that trucks had this, or at least Ford did this at all. They got uh, adjustable pedals, ele uh, electronic adjustable pedals. What would you need that for? Uh, for the pedal. Hi, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not puppy. I saw him preparing to jump up. Yeah. Uh. Um, it's so the pedals can move back and forth for different sized people. Okay. <coughs> I'm just like, I want that just to have. I want this truck just to have the adjustable pedals. I didn't know that you didn't know that they had them. I didn't, yeah, I, I, I knew that, that, I know, like, supercars have them. Supercars. But I didn't know, like, a Ford truck would have adjustable pedals. So. so it's just a regular F-150? Yes. I just checked uh, my Stuff You Probably Wondered channel. I have 106 subscribers, which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. But I also have, as of right now, 6,666 views. Nice. <laughs> Well, you should stop. <laughs> so many sixes. Well, I can't now. Oh, I know. That, okay, that was un one more six than I thought. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. But hey, it's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, yesterday when I got home from work, I had just rolled into 178,000 miles even. My my car just recently hit uh, just over two hundred thousand. I think it's at two oh two oh one thousand now. I'm at like two hundred forty seven thousand. It's a lot. Yeah. Sobs are awesome. If if my calculations are correct in my my weekly driving by this time next week I should be decently well into um, one eighty. Nice. Which makes you see the sobs are like the new coke. They're gonna be around forever. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me it makes me happy that what? it's like getting older. Oh yeah, it's maturing. Yeah, because you put classic tags like on fine it, milk. You pay a hundred, a uh, hundred, a hundred ten dollars for insurance yeah. a year. Yeah. But then um, you drive around on the weekends. Well, I I when I bought it, it only had a hundred and forty six thousand even. Yeah. So how, how much does it have on now? Like one seventy nine thirty eight. Yeah, my car, which is now Stacy's, when I got it was at two hundred thirty four thousand, two hundred thirty three something like that. So yeah, my pickup had two hundred sixty seven thousand miles on it. I was just about to ask, what's the most amount of mileage you've ever gotten on a car? And when when I, when I was done with it, it was up to uh, like three ten or something. Like that. Jeez, that I've ever put on a car, or that's ever been on a car I've owned. The latter, both, or both. I think this has been the most I've ever put on a car I've owned because I've had four cars since I graduated high school, and this is the longest I've ever had a car. Um, I think. September will be two years since I've, I've owned this truck. Cute. And 146 to... 146,000 to uh, 178 yeah. is is the most I've ever put on it. I, the most I've ever had on a car was the Galaxy because it was a 71. I, we're pretty sure that it, it rolled. Um, the odometer rolled. Yes, yeah. it was... Forget what it was. It was like um, one. 
one something. One ninety something. And for a seventy one for being forty years old, there's no way that it could have just a hundred and ninety some yeah. thousand miles on it. Um that Ram Charger, uh, when I got it, it had forty thousand miles on it mm-hmm. when I was fourteen. That's when we bought it. Mm-hmm. Now it didn't see the odometer, it only has five mm-hmm. like spots for numbers. It's at forty thousand again. <laughs> so I had to at least put over a hundred thousand. Yeah. Since I was fourteen. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my the Blue Phoenix, which is the car that Stacy owns now. Oh. Blue Phoenix. <laughs> Blue Phoenix. Because it died. Oh. It, and then it comes and back. And then it came back from the dead. And it's blue. Yeah, we salvaged it from, from the dead. What, um, what happened to it? Did it blow up? What? No, uh... Lock up? What? What? Tell me. Uh, it was I like, need to know. I'm calm your face you fast and your respective body parts. I think it was the battery had, had shot and something with transmission. But, yeah, it couldn't run. and It just know, walked. It just walked, yeah. Um, I had that car for almost four years. Nice. So, yeah. That is cute. But anyway, it's time for Today I Learned. All right. So, I recently learned, and I'm act- I think this is so funny that I'm putting it on in my... Uh, my set for tonight at the Comedy Zone, which you people should go to, even though you won't know about it. Because Wait, you're going on stage? Yeah. No fucking way. Okay, so you've been away for a while. I've been doing stand-up comedy since April, I think. Sweet okay. zombie Jesus, have I been going that long? Whenever, whenever How to Train Your Hair came out. Mm-hmm. That was the week I started. I've done it once. Yeah, you did it once. Well, let me figure out when that came out. But regardless... Uh, today I learned. Also, can I just say, before I get to that, you could have named the new episode anything but Boob Noob. I forgot what... But you did it anyway. I forgot what what we were going to name it. I'm so mad at you. I I was just like, fuck it, it needs to come out. It's Thursday. So I just threw it out. Yeah, that's fine. Boob Noob was something that happened before the recording. Yeah. Well, we made it. We made a brief reference to it at the beginning. Yeah. So, boob um, noob. Yeah. How to train your hair came out the sixteenth of March. That's when I started. Wow. So I've been doing it for five months. Pretty cool. But anyway, today I learned. I learned today that. Well, first of all, let me ask you a question. You know how to do CPR, right? Yes. How do you do it? Like well, first, you like, open the like mouth. This. Tilt the head back, stick your tongue in the mouth, yeah. and All just right. hope the shock wakes them up. You're, you're good so far. <laughs> Is there like some deep set like gaydar in men's minds? Like if there was a man trying to save <coughs> you and he put his tongue in your mouth, you immediately wake up. Like that's the only reason why CPR works. <laughs> so there, a guy wakes you up with the shock of him French kissing you. You do. Or you, do 30, you just wake why up. Why is this not being funded? I don't know. <laughs> so you do 30 chest compressions and two breaths. Yes. But do you know how fast to do them? Uh, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and that fast. Okay, but how will you know you get it right every time? What do you mean? Because what you're supposed to do is do it 100 beats per minute. Yeah. Because any slower and, or any faster mm-hmm. won't work properly. And that seems to be the part that people usually can't get right. Because you you don't know how fast 100 beats per minute yeah. is, so there's a song that just happens to be that fast. Really? Yeah. Do you want to know what song that is? You're gonna tell us regardless. Just play it. Yeah. It's. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's so fitting, staying alive by the Bee Gees. That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard. No, the dumbest thing I've ever heard is your (laughs) pre-intro. That's the second dumbest thing I've heard today. Come on, dog, dance with me. Anyway, that's enough copyright infringement for now. (laughs) I was always taught in high school and when I I took uh, my CPR class for security that... That. I lost my phone. <laughs> when you do compressions, um, it's enough time to do, like I said, you one and two and three and four and five. 
Well, I like this better. Well, fuck you. <laughs> no, no one, no one can understand what they're saying anyway. <laughs> Might as well just throw a bull beat song in there somewhere. <laughs> I said Volbeat, not Pearl Jam. <laughs> but it was in the, in the style of Volbeat. But there's another song that's 100 beats per minute that you could also do it. In. Yeah, you could also. There's another uh, yeah 100 beats per minute. Pretty song. sure there's multiple 100, 100 well, beats per minute. Famous song. ones that you'd easily remember. Okay. That one is another one bites the dust. Really? But you really don't want to use that one because that's that. Then it's like. You're not feeling as good about yourself. It's like you don't you don't really like this guy, but you want to make you know at least a fake half-hearted yeah. attempt at it's, bringing him back. It's not really you're saving the guy's life. It's really more of a kind gesture. <laughs> yeah. I could I could just imagine me, like, like I'm like walking around Walmart like looking for stuff. Someone collapses and like two aisles over, and everyone's freaking out. Oh my god, who knows CPR? Like I just like crash through <laughs> one of the one of the wall things. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, you start giving CPR and then you're humming something. You're like, what are yeah. you doing? You're like, and now the one bites dust. I, I just, I just like slide in and I start giving them chest compressions, and I, like I just pick up halfway through, through uh, another one bites the dust, yeah. and I'm like compressing, doing compressions. Like, how do you think we're gonna get along when we're not doing no good? It's like <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one knows the words to that either. I know, I know, the, I, I know, I know the words to that. I know the words to staying alive. So what do you think? Mm, who could you get? <laughs> it's just a bunch of hookah jiggas. Hookah jigga, hookah jigga, hookah jigga, hookah jigga, stay here alive, stay here alive. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use that in my set tonight. You do that. Good, good. Should be gold, as, it, as they say. Yeah. Honest to God, the other, the last time we were at the Comedy Zone, yeah. and, and I had that delayed reaction to your uh, <laughs> clamouflage. Yeah. As as Keith calls it, um, yeah. As many times as I heard that joke, you never... I I did not like. I always thought like it was like chocolate mousse when you say you're you're hunting chocolate mousse in Candyland. Yeah. I always picture like like a chocolate rabbit only a moose. <laughs> I never like pictured a bowl of like chocolate mousse <laughs> until I'm... that night, yeah. and then like it just kind of clicked. For those of you who don't know, here's my joke abridged, or at least really quickly. I don't understand why people wear pink camouflage these days. I can understand in South Central Kentucky when you're uh, wearing regular camouflage and you're out in the woods shooting down things that are much more beautiful than you. But I don't understand why people have to wear pink camouflage. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's no environment on Earth that possibly would account for you wearing pink in order to hide somewhere. The only place I can imagine that being applicable is if you were to be in Candyland and shoot down chocolate mousse. Then that's okay. Or if you were to be hiding in a group of I haven't actually done this part yet. I'm trying to add more to it. So, like, if you were hiding in a group of, of college of college freshman girls with all their North Face clothing, I don't know. Nah. Nah. I thought you were. I thought you were going toward flamingos, and you were going to do something with them. <laughs> Hi, hiding in a flock of, flock of flamingos. <laughs> you should. That's it. You should hide in a flock of flamingos looking for an Isaac sandwich. There you go. <laughs> Hunting down Isaac sandwiches. We still have to go there sometime. Isaac's is good. We can go there tonight because Camp Hill and New Cumberland are pretty close. Yeah. Yep. 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 So. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Hello. Uh, so, a lot of my family is going to see me perform tonight. Are they? And my mom was telling me, uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just going to meet up there at 8. I'm like, where are you meeting up? Uh, at Doc Holidays, we're just gonna have dinner there, and then we'll we'll go and see you perform. And I'm like, they don't serve food anymore. What? No, they don't serve food. They they serve drinks. They don't serve food anymore. No, oh, just go ahead and drink. Shit. <laughs> now what are we gonna do? I said you can go to you can go to Garlic Poet because I recently found out what that is. What is it? It is a steak restaurant. Is it where they put garlic on everything? Wow, that sounds like something. <laughs> sounds hey, you found it. Hey, there I'm it is. On it. Are you my modeling? belt wasn't too loose. Okay. I, had oh, tight I was like, are you modeling for I us? Did, I didn't want to show you guys my awesome just, belt. Just, just do a little spin around real quick. Show what you got. See, that's beautiful. Fuck L. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of bugs. <laughs> the hills uh, are alive with the 
are alive with the sound of murder. Well, that's kind of productive. I'm, I'm sorry, what the hell is your wallpaper on your computer? Oh, it's it's Luke Skywalker hanging out with Miss Piggy Kermit the Frog and Yoda. What the fuck? Because Frank Oz was the voice of Yoda, of Yoda. and he was also... The puppeteer. Yeah, he was also a couple other he was uh, the puppeteer. Muppet voices. He did Admiral Akbar. Oh, did he? Uh, it's a crap! <laughs> Wasn't he Fozzie too? Yes. He, he was Miss Piggy too. I always thought that was Jim Hansen. No, he was, he was Miss Piggy. My background changes every ten minutes. Woo. What? Nerd! Thank you. What the hell did you say? My background, it changes by itself every ten minutes. Shut up, nerd. Thank you. That's some fancy shit, though. Is that witchcraft? No, it's called wallpaper toy. You just raped that pillow and then <laughs> shoved it back at me. It, the, that pillow is now sacred. Honor it, because you'll never touch my vagina. Ouch. <laughs> sure got cold in here, guys. What do you think? Someone open a window? Yeah, it's a little nippy. Oh, man. Speaking of nippy... Nippy? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I... I was walking around a pane of glass the other day, and I I thought and you I was at your nipples. I I I thought I like walked around it far enough. Well, I ended up walking into it a little bit, and the corner caught my nipple, and it hurt so bad. I thought I cut my nipple off, and I I walked around. I'm like, oh no, no it's so <laughs> oh no. Because I, I, I started like feel like something warm, and I'm like, oh god, I cut it off, and now I'm bleeding. <laughs> That's okay, you don't need it anyway. And I'm, I'm just it's like, a vestigial structure, you don't need it. I don't understand big words. Vestigial structures are organs on a an animal that don't have any use. Uh, the appendix. Yeah, body hair. Shit, I was about to say, I don't understand big words. <laughs> What's appendix mean? <laughs> yeah, male nipples. That's- Body hair, the appendix. Um, body, yeah, body hair like my belly or like hair? No, body hair. Like body hair like, like my belly. You need that. Because hair is used on on animals like like arm hair. Like when you're uh, when your hair stands up on end, that's supposed to be for like when you're warring off other predators mm-hmm. trying to make yourself seem bigger and get angry at them. Like when a cat goes <laughs> And it's got like the poofiness. <laughs> the poofiness. poofiness. I can. Oh my god! As as furry as I am, yeah. I can just imagine like it like just I, goes, just, I hulk out and like I just turn into a big ball of fuzz and just kind of float away. <laughs> I imagine you like a like a blowfish, like you know, how like they're tiny yeah. and they poof up. <coughs> but they I just imagine you like with a tiny they, head, they big mush ball up. of fur everywhere. They mush and up, floating yeah. away. So what were you gonna say before? You said something. We were talking about nipples. Oh yeah, uh, I, I, I really don't want to say this from. From who? Dan, close your ears. <laughs> no. Shut your eyes. This is an impro- This is inappropriate for you. Part care. of my nipple is burned off. Why? Because I was making bacon. That's in the morning, kinky. <laughs> I'm and sorry. And the bacon I had to. spit at me, and I wasn't wearing a bra. It's first thing in the morning. Like, what the fuck does that? And it just spit, landed on my nipple, and now instead of being a nice little circle, my nipple is a U. That's not kinky. That's <laughs> that is something. That's more than you ever needed to know about me. I can attest to this; it's true. Well, I guess what we're sharing. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but I want to look at your girlfriend's nipple. That is intriguing. <laughs> well, if you're comfortable enough. No. Okay. Sorry. No offense. Larry. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just. What? I'm just waiting for her to say yes. Oh yeah, we got what? Going on now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Anyone else got any freakish uh, disformities or birthmarks? Apparently, Carrie Underwood has three nipples. A lot of people do. Ashton Kutcher does. That's fantastic. I don't know. I don't know who hey, you brought are. it up. <laughs> what? I don't. I don't really understand. Like, what? What does a third nipple look like? It looks like a mole. Oh. Yeah. Is it like? Does it have like an areola, or is it over the areola? Does it lactate? Uh, Can it what, lactate? From the picture that I saw, it How it's. Are you looking at this? It was on a Vsauce video. Oh, you know. okay. It was educational, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it get hard when you get aroused? I don't know. These are the things picture. I need to know. <laughs> it was a picture. 
He, Ashton Kutcher Why did you has, look further into the subject? Ashton Kutcher has one on his foot. I don't know who that is. Well, then that's not a nipple. But it is. But it's not. But it is. But it's not. I don't care. It is. I. It's not. I'm in, I'm excited for you to make up the the description for this one. <laughs> we talk about cars and nipples. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> it's nine. It's open. Uh, rackle frackle. Do what? Rackle frackle. Rackle oh. frackle. Oh. Casey's the only one who knows where that's from. Who is here currently? Yes. Who's where? Who is here currently knows about that? Yes. Yeah. Uh. We're having a short show today. I'm out of stuff. We're having a short show today because we're going to be filming two guys going adventures in which we go collect something. We're going to go get more fish and try not to Don't kill them. Don't give it away, Wes. We're not going to go get more fish and we're not Wes. We're, we're going to not not kill them. <laughs> that was we're not going to shove M80s in their mouth. Good job. You covered all our bases. <laughs> Hockey! And why they're getting not getting fish, I'm totally not going to get fireworks. Join us next week when we interview a can of tuna and see if it's really all that's cracked up to be. So until then, have a nice night, Internet. I'll see you on the flip side. That was Casey. And for everyone else, say goodnight, everybody. Good night. Did I do it right? <laughs> Good night, everybody.